An ambulance rushes 34-year-old Keon Carr to Mount St. John's Medical Center Friday night. He's been shot several times on Christian Street in Gray's Farm. Flashing lights reveal Carr's distraught mother, Brenda Furlong, in the darkness. She shouts she must accompany her son to the hospital. Speaking to ABS News Sunday, Furlong says she's not taking the incident well. She says her son, who lived on Kentish Road, had visited her Christian Street home moments before he was gunned down. Less than five minutes he went up the road and he stopped by them guys there and all what I hear is bam 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 over five bullets. I rushed out the house in my nighty only to see my son. My son on the ground. The mother recalls running to her son's assistance and calling 911 after finding a pulse at his wrist. Police vehicles and the ambulance arrive later and emergency medical technicians tell Furlong they found a weak pulse. The mother, who is taken to hospital in a police vehicle, recalls the moment she received word of her son's death. The doctor called me into a room with the head nurse and tell me that um, the information is not too good. I said, don't tell me my son died. And they say, sorry, he passed. She says she could not fathom the thought of losing the youngest of her two sons. The doctor go back in and try again because I don't believe he did. The doctor, they, after I start crying and screaming, they try to calm me down. The doctor said, I don't understand. I tell her she don't understand. She must go back in again and try again. She said, no, he really passed. The mother says Carl was not perfect, but despite having what she called some bad ways, he was a loving son. There are times Kian come, and sometimes I say, he always come and say, Kian, mommy give me this. If you come and say, I say, I always want. He said, mommy, me the only one could keep your heart beating. And sometimes, so when he finished, he'll just hug me. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing can take its place. Carr, who grew up in St. Thomas, relocated to Antigua and Barbuda while attending secondary school. Jamie J. Roche, ABS News.